the Hands Painting Party. This ain't your daddy's painting class. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Mary Houlihan. Yeah, bitch. Mary This ain't your Houlihan. daddy's painting class. Yeah, baby. There's something about Mary. Yeah. Yeah, bitch. What's up, guys? Welcome to the show. We're back. Yes. Well, you know, if you were watching last week, you saw that my parents had COVID. They still do, but they're doing great. They're both home, and my dad was driving me crazy as soon as he got home. So now I'm at my friend's house. And what's so great about being at this house is that not only do I have a happy cam, but I also have dun 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 cats it's a camera with cats there's two cats and you know they don't really what oh, turn into camera perhaps yeah. so yeah that one's luna or as i call her lunar and the other one is pepper and i bet pepper's under the bed i bet pepper's under the bed isn't she isn't she um yes the hairless cats i know you must be um shocked and awed i'm kind of used to it by now when i first saw them i was like oh my god shock and awe but now you know i'm very used to them do happy and the cats get along yes and no anyways so i'm happy that everyone's healthy and i'm happy that i'm with cats and oh the luna get back on camera and well anyways did you guys hear uh the theme today is rosebud we're going to be painting rosebud whatever that means to you so maybe you want to paint a rose maybe you want to paint tuxedo mask maybe you want to paint a sled maybe you want to paint um um okay we're getting some tips from the audience maybe strap a camera to the cat's back whoa now that is something I had not thought of because, you know, when I was thinking cat cam, I'm thinking cat in front of a cam, right? But you're like, cat cam is more the POV cat, you know? Anyways, I have really cool guests today. Do you want to see them? Here they come. It's Jess Lane and Nate Fernald. Whoa! Hello. Hello. What's up? How's it going? Does that answer your question? Yeah. yeah it does. <laughs> How's it going? What you doing? Oh, you know, just hanging out. About to crack open a coconut LaCroix. Ooh. I'm just getting amped to do some art and I have a glass of room temperature tap water. Mm. I have a little tiny bit of coffee that I didn't finish this morning. Kind of cool that we're all drinking different things, but we all still get along. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, is it true? Is it true? It's someone's birthday today? Is that true? It's not mine. Well, that only leaves me and the dog. And I know it's not happy birthday. Well, then I think uh, I think we've narrowed it down. I think it's mine. Woo! Yep. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Happy birthday to Nate. Yes. I think this is a cool way to spend it, especially like during quarantine, you know, like. I know. What else? Did, what else? Do you have any doing? other plans? Uh, I'm going to do a Zoom with some old pals later in the evening and then get some some takeout. Oh, Ooh. sick. Yeah. What kind? Um, there's a place called Bulan. It's a, um, I, Jess, I bet you've been there. Oh yeah. I love it. Classic. Yeah. It's like a vegan Thai food place. It's real good. Wow. Well, you know, Nate. Yeah. We here at Mary Houlihan's painting party got you a birthday surprise. You gotta be kidding me. I swear to God. But, but. We're not going to show it to you until after we do mousekeeping. Oh, okay. 
I'm gonna, gonna die. die. <laughs> <laughs> so this is mousekeeping. It's like housekeeping, but there's, you know, a gif of a mouse sweeping a broom. Um, so, you know, what's great about this show is that we're painting uh, on your screen, but you can also paint at home. Yep, that's right. And if you want to share your paintings with us, use hashtag Mary Painting Party, and then, you know, we'll all see each other's paintings. And that's pretty cool. Um, if you'd like to support the show, we wouldn't hate it. Um, go to planetscum.live. There's like a button to support the show. Pay what you want, you know, sliding scale, you know, anywhere from $1 to $1 million. Um, we have t-shirts. Check it out. Check it out. I'm, we I'm wearing it. So, yeah, we have a t-shirt. And where can you get that t-shirt? Yep, that's right. Planetscum.live slash merch. Um, I, it, I'm, I'm getting antsy to show you your birthday surprise. Yeah, um, yeah. You, you and me both. <laughs> well, Nate. You can't, just, you can't just drop that on me and then mouse keep. I mean. I know. But, you know, I felt like, oh, if I do the birthday surprise, then, you know, I'll be going, you know, 10 plus minutes without doing any mouse keeping. That's okay. So, you know, I understand. That's, that's sort of where I was coming from. Um, but, you know, at Planet Scum, um, you know, it's totally, totally viewer funded, um, which is so great. And we have taken all of the viewers' money, yes, that's right, and um, pooled it to get you birthday presents. Yep, that's right. We have gotten you the most expensive celebrity cameos in the world. Yep, yep, yep. These cost uh, $100 a piece. Um, so check them out. Here they come. Hello, Nathaniel. Emily Heller here. I hear you're a big fan of my character, uh, Dumpster Grandma. So uh, she's she's got a special birthday message for you. <laughs> That's not my grandbaby. That's Nate. It's his birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you, Kamel. I guess uh, try doing more push-ups. <clears throat> Whew. Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. <clears throat> I was just in the middle of my... Second workout of the day. <sighs> Anyways, Nate, they told me that I should make a cameo for you today, so I assume it's your <laughs> birthday, or I don't know, maybe you're in the hospital. One love, <laughs> chicken foot forever. All right, man. <laughs> hey, hey, this message goes out to Nate Fernald, the birthday boy. <laughs> Heard you're turning a big 3 0, so uh, keep on rocking in the free world. Yeah. Hey, Nort. It's Zach Broussard uh, from the hit web series, The Bang Bus. Your mom tells me that it's your birthday, and you've been really depressed lately because you haven't been able to go outside and play with your friends. And all you've had to keep yourself company are my videos from The Bang Bus. Uh, happy birthday, uh, uh, Nate. Nate Fernald, uh, this is uh, Jason Signs from Cameo. I see that you work um, for uh, The Late Show with Conan O'Brien. That's pretty great, I love Conan. Hey Nate Fernald, it's Jared Logan from True TV's <laughs> World's Dumbest. Your friends told me that you really like superheroes and hey, I think that's swell, but I hope you remember that the only true superhero is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hey, happy birthday, Nate Fennold. I know the pandemic's <laughs> hard right now and that you typically cope through CDs and music, but I just want you to know that if any of those weird bands don't do the trick for you, just keep in mind, <laughs> drugs and alcohol are always an option. It's been one week since you looked at me. Standing on the sides and I'm hungry. Come back and see me. Yo, what up, Nate Dog? It's your boy KB. This is gonna be your year, Nate. 2021. We done with that 2020 shit. We love you, Diary Fuse. <laughs> <laughs> that was incredible. <laughs> Thank you so much.
Yeah. How did you know who all my friends are? We spent $50,000 doing that. That's well worth it. I will reimburse you for up to 20% oh. of that. Oh, great. Cool. Awesome sauce. So anyway, uh, I, today. Man. Yes, yes. Just Kevin Bannon in character. Yes. Huge. Absolutely <laughs> huge moment in my life. I thought I was smiling already, and apparently I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here's Kevin in the comments. We love you, diarrhea pubes. <laughs> right back at you, my man. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm gonna come clean. I didn't contact those celebrities on Cameo. I I contacted your pals and said, can you send uh, videos pretending you're, you know, Cameo style? And I also messaged Kala and she said, you should message Emily Heller. And I said, great, because I hadn't thought I hadn't thought of reaching out to her, but thanks to you, I'm thinking of some more friends to reach out to. So that's, you know, that's how us at Planet Scum, you know, knew who all of your best friends are. That's great. That's huge. That's some impressive detective work. So <laughs> um, thank you. It means the world to me. So how's it going being the big 3-0? Uh, I'm actually the big 1-0-0. Oh, oh. <laughs> 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 centenarian um so far pretty cool so you know how um they have all these articles about centenarians mm -hmm. and the framing is always like what makes them so centenarian what makes them not dead yet um and they'll say you know can you believe it? This grandma drank a beer every day, or you know, uh, uh, this grandma, uh, you know, they they talk about like whatever food or thing that they had all the time. Nate, if there was a thing that kept you alive for a hundred years, what would it be? It would probably be a lot of drinking water. There we go. There we go. All yeah. right. Okay. If if anything is keeping me alive, that's what it is. That's it's all I drink. Well. I mean, I showed you this earlier. Oh, yeah. I mean, when I showed you it earlier, it was like up to here. Oh, so, my God. Yeah. Well, that's crazy. God, disgusting. I don't know how you do it. Um, it's I started doing it because um, there was a time in my life where I couldn't afford juice or soda. <laughs> And and then the oh. then there was this free stuff coming out of the sink, and then um, and then eventually I just got used to it. That's smart. And now I love it. I crave it. I'm a slave to it. Of course. So the theme tonight is rosebud. I kind of thought about it because it was snowy as all get out today. And Citizen Kane, a movie I have never seen, I know that Rosebud is a sled. So I was like, that's like a nice vague thing that could mean sled or rose or whatever people want. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to paint a rose myself. Well, what about you guys? What are you going to draw slash paint? I think I'm going to draw uh, characters known as the Rosebuds. Okay. They're roses and they're pals. I'm sorry I don't have a art cam. Um, That's okay. You can but hold I was it too, up to yeah. camera. I was too self-conscious to be watched. Yeah. That's I mean, smart. I'm self-conscious too, but I'm, I'm trying to practice vulnerability. So. Oh, very cool. Not me. I did that in my 70s. <laughs> <laughs> what was your 70s like? Uh, it was pretty cool. Lots of music festivals. <laughs> really? Really? Yeah. Who'd you see? Who'd you see? What bands did you go to see? And which bands were there that you were like, eh, I guess I'll see them because I'm here. In my 70s, it was all about Lollapalooza. Uh-huh. And the, the new Woodstock that, like, Limp Bizkit played at. Whoa. Is it cheating if I Google a rose real quick? No, no, that's not cheating. Okay. That's part. Of, that's part of the process. Jess, have you been to any music fest in my life? Yeah. Yes. Which? Um, the most. 
Oh, so I mean, I started like I think my first like proper concert ever was probably going to Warp Tour, Warp Tour 2000, Asbury Park. <laughs> And uh, I think most recently I went to a panorama in Brooklyn, or mm-hmm. it's not in Brooklyn, in New York. Um, oh yeah, just and I'm like one of those islands. Yeah, it was like it was the big governors. Yeah, it was the big deal year when LCD sound system reunited, and so I went sure. to see LCD, and it was like super chill. We're you honestly guys like are always reuniting. <laughs> it's freaking BS. Me and Eliza Hurwitz saw them at uh, Brooklyn Steel. This is oh, like, heck. what, like six years after they have a farewell concert movie? What the heck? Either retire yeah. or don't put out a retire movie. It feels I'm like sorry. it's like, it, it almost feels like it's like cheating to get your fans to give you money. Because everyone's like, last mm-hmm. tour, I gotta go. And then it's like, and then they're like, reunion six months later. That's why I have a tattoo that says nothing's permanent. So if I'm ever in a band and we say that we're breaking up, don't believe us. Band could always get back together. Uh, Jess, if, if if you're in a band. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wait, what's this? What's this, Jess? Are you in a band? If so, with who? What is this? What are you, what are um, you hearing? So me and Nate are in a band. It is, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, Nate. You know, it's just this pandemic. We haven't practiced. Yeah, we and haven't also, played in a while. We Dangerous, never yeah. came up with a name or wrote any, collaborated on any songs. Yeah, but we did learn how to play three Weezer songs. Oh, go. man, I can fucking... Is it, is it... Should I not be vulgar on the show? I know you have fans of all ages. Well, it's mostly fans of 20s and 30s, but Rose and Mariah are under 10 and they are watching so you know i i would say do simpsons level you know the simpsons is kind of fresh sometimes i might pull i might pull a couple jenny slates and accidentally not say friggin okay say say freak freak can i say crud (laughs) (laughs) okay i gotta decide to i guess i'll just start with the classic i'll warm up I wasn't prepared for the theme. <laughs> oh, sorry. sorry. Um, so what Weezer songs did you learn? Okay, we learned... Say It Ain't So. Say It Ain't So, oh, the classic. Mm-hmm. Sad Dad. Uh, Buddy, Buddy Holly. Holly. And El Scorcho. And El Scorcho. Ooh. And we also messed around and learned Paper Face. Oh yeah, so Paper that? Face. That's a deep cut. Yeah, we were like, we're real fans. What what <laughs> album is that? It's not even B- not even freaking on an album. It's not even a B side. It's yeah. a demo. No way. It's a it's a blue out pre blue album blue album demo. Pre pre blue album. No. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we're just like really big fans. I don't know. <laughs> Damn. But we were gonna have our first show. What was it? May. I think it was like, yeah, it was May or June. It was coming right up. Yeah. And then, um, and then this whole crud happened. I would love to see you guys do a show. So would we. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, cool. (laughs) Before that, we learned a bunch of pavement songs. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. And we're both we're both writing songs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I was gonna text Nate before this and be like, "How much is this Mary prepared for us to talk about?" <laughs> oh, this this is a total chat show. We just go off the rails. Like the cameo thing is really the only pre-planned thing. I and like we only to did pretend because it's a B day. I'm like I'm pretending that was all done live. Everyone was in the little <laughs> green room here, That's hopping true. on. Everyone in studio. Um, yeah, yeah, everyone's here at this house I'm at. And I have another room. I have the cat room and then I have another room where it's a uh, green screen. And so, you know, I had like Steve O'Brien standing 
in front of the green screen and you know i paid like a motion graphics guy to put in the background of his own apartment to make it look real that's great yeah that's great <laughs> you guys know i was in a band once really what? what kind of music did you play what did you play and what were you called that's my big three questions what kind of music did we play we played two mm -hmm. cover songs oh wow she so sounds so far them. a lot like our band yeah <laughs> and one of them well, was a weezer song oh mm -hmm. can you so guess this is one? like i'll give you three guesses was it buddy holly no uh-uh Wait, three guesses isn't enough because there's too many hits. I need a hint Was of it like hash pipe. Sorry, right, I'll give I shouldn't you a say couple that. guesses. My hints. Was are it free pipe? Wouldn't think, you wouldn't. You wouldn't think of this as a hit. You wouldn't be like, you know, what song is this cover band doing? It's kind of a, you know, it's a totally. Uh, Poppy fun. Oh, I could get how people could learn that song fast. Mm -hmm. Beverly song. Beverly Hills. But you're not gonna hear this on the radio, honey. <laughs> not oh, a no, no. It's an no. album an album cut. Oh yeah. Not a single. This is an album banger. Hmm. Wow. Um And um I don't know. The the album is um oh I, I think I have a cough coming on. <laughs> Pinkerton. <laughs> okay, now we're talking. Okay. Is it racy? Is it a racy song? Which one is it? <laughs> is it The Good Life? Yep. <laughs> oh, that's a great one. Oh, I think that was my favorite off that record for a long time. It's a good one, yeah. That's a, that's a wonderful... Insane that that wasn't a single, honestly. Uh, it was just not a. It's not a successful one. Not a monster hit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's probably that's probably why. I actually, with almost within arm's reach, I have a CD single of it. <gasps> it's just, it's just right there. I mean, if it was in arm's reach, that would be one thing. I mean, look, I got some give on my headphones wire. So if you oh. guys want, if you guys want to see it, yeah. I, I can, know I know how epic it is. I want it to be shown. I can <laughs> make on, it happen. Come on. So yeah, that was one of our cover songs and the other cover gonna... song was Radio by Elvis Costello. That's pretty oh, fun. Cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here we go. Ooh, look at this. Oh, it's us. <laughs> We're the album art. Ooh, very nice. Oh, I see. Oh, that's so nice. Bonus tracks. What are the bonus tracks? The bonus tracks are good. They're very good. They're waiting on you. Yes. I just threw out the love of my dreams. Oh yeah. And oh, then yeah. an acoustic version of the good life, um, which Mary, you might know that song. I don't. I don't. Not um, the acoustic. Oh, not the acoustic. And then an acoustic version of Pink Triangle. Yeah. It's a pretty wow. jam jam packed little little disc. That's yeah, basically that's like an EP right there. Yeah, I guess technically it is an EP. Oh, okay. Wow. Imported from Australia. Oh, good day. <laughs> um. And so the name of my band. Oh, yes. Was Mr. DePito and the Sketches. Was and that the name of my... your? Let me guess which teacher that was. Okay. <laughs> was it your math teacher? Your algebra teacher? Wait, which grade was this? Let me let me remind you. Let me remind you. Mr. DePito's backing band was called the Sketches. And your art teacher or your drama? Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, your yep. art teacher. He's our art teacher. Well, thank you, Mr. DePito. Look at her now. I love Mr. DePito. You know, I was thinking today because I was looking at Facebook and I saw that Mr. DePito posted a picture of um, his house, his mm. house with snow in the yard and everything. And I said, you know, I got to ask him to do this show. And I was That's... thinking, I was thinking of asking him 
would you want to do the show? And do you have any like students that are like totally like rocking and want to go to art school? Maybe they're like, I go to the city on the weekends, you know, like those kinds of kids. Heck yeah. And maybe they would like want to be on the show and it would make them feel special. And then, you know, I would put in parentheses, like, I don't even know if that's like allowed. Maybe that's weird. Yeah. Um, that could be I, cool. I think you should do it. I think I will. My As mom it... says I should book him. <laughs> we love Mr. DePito over here. As a as an art student nerd who went to high school in New Jersey, I was never a kid who went into the city sometimes. Unfortunately, like I didn't go into the city until I was like 17 and with like a group of like 20 of my friends. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so I would just just be mindful of like not to exclude a kid just because they haven't. <laughs> Maybe oh, their no. mom is scared of New York City and don't want to go there. So, you know, I, I think I was, you know, they don't literally have to go into the city. I'm more trying to describe, you know, an archetype of teen. You want to a city vibe. Yeah, they're sort of like, I'm done with high school. Everyone here is so pedestrian. Like that kind of <laughs> mm -hmm. Mary, let me just say, if I was in Mr. DePito's class right now, mm -hmm. I think I'd be getting booked on your show. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. What were you guys like in high school? This I was it's yeah. pretty much the same. I was exactly the same, just my shirts were larger. <laughs> same. And I didn't I was, figure Yeah, I was more into Dragon Ball Z. Oh, okay. I was like a pop punker and so Oh my goodness. What was your hair like? Normal. Uh, I was I this is like this hair exploration that I've had in the last five years is like a lifelong uh, journey, or it's like, it's something I've been waiting to do my whole life and that's why I refuse to stop. But I had basically center part brown hair, chin length mm -hmm. bob, mm -hmm. no bangs. Interesting. Um, oh, actually this reminds me, the first music festival I technically went to was um, Punk Stock in Kevin oh, Greenberger's okay. It's a uh, well, if you were from Jackson, New Jersey, and uh, were a student between the class of 2000 and 2004 of Jackson Memorial High School, you would have known about Punk Stock, the one time music festival that took place in Kevin Greenberger's backyard. Oh my goodness, uh, where three local bands <laughs> played. Oh, what, ba what bands? What bands? Maybe me and Nate have heard of them. Um, the I'm in the first... same stuff. I can't remember the name of the first band, even though I just watched the video like a couple nights ago. Uh, the second band that played is called The Bank Robbers, and they were actually pretty big oh, in the New yeah, Jersey yeah. pop punk scene. There's like a New Jersey pop punk archive kind of like website rabbit hole that I've fallen down recently. Wow. And The Bank Robbers are definitely showing up on some of the compilations and stuff um, that I found. And then... The last band that played was a band called Second to Last. Ironically, they played actually last, and they were a ska band, of course. Of course, of course. Of course. Good. Um, the best, the best musicians, because they all knew music theory. Uh, mm. <laughs> that's that's ska kids for you. I mean, they're playing, you know, band instruments. I think they know what they're doing. <laughs> Um, but I was very shy technically in high school. Mm. Nate, I was I was shy around half the people and not shy at all around the other half. Sure. If that if that makes any sense. You had to earn it. You had to earn your Nate energy. Yeah. So, what would you say were like personality traits where you would be like, all right, this person I'm gonna go hog wild with. Versus someone that you're like, mm -mm. um, I mean, a t-shirt of a band I liked. Oh, <laughs> Same yeah. things now that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Were you in any clubs? Um, 
I was in art club. Heck yeah. And that is that is basically once a week hung out in the art room after school and drew anime characters. Heck yeah. Nice. That's uh I uh it's amazing we haven't discovered I didn't know that about you, Nate. Um I I'm it's not as big a part of my personality now as it was when I was 16. Sure. I mean, but. I'll say it. I'm flabbergasted to hear that you were an anime boy. I was, um, there was one other anime boy in my school and, mm -hmm. and, and with him, I was like, all right, you're a little too into anime. So like that's, <laughs> So that that's like the <laughs> level I was at, where I was just like, right. like there's a couple shows I think are cool and I like, um, but I think that is accurate to me now as an adult as well. I think so. Same here. What's your uh, any adult? Not that they have to be adult in, in nature, but potentially they are. Any any anime you've watched recently? I watched a movie called Patima Inverted, and I freaking loved it. What's it about? It's about, um, it's like in the future, and there's some weird science experiment goes that goes wrong, and then uh, this like city uh, gravity gets inverted in it, so oh. like half the people in the city just float up into space and die. But then like some people escape underground and essentially like live underground, but they walk on like the roofs. Oh. Um, and then there's like uh, a girl who gets lost essentially and leaves the underground and then is about to float off into space and be destroyed. But she like catches herself on a tree and then, uh, and then some, some boy, is like trying to help her and you know then they they just they're just trying to figure out what's going on and it's really it's really great and nice that sounds really nice i i my friend just gave me a couple of anime movies on dvd before he moved to wisconsin <laughs> mm -hmm. um but i don't have or no he gave me blu-ray players i don't have a blu-ray player or a dvd player i don't have okay. any manner in which to watch, enjoy this media mm. that he thought okay. I would enjoy. Which movies? Um, the one of them was the, what's the one, the like, the dreamy one with the boy and the girl, your name. Yes. You want uh, us yeah. to name an anime. That's the <laughs> dreamy one with the boy and the girl. I just described one to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is that the one you mean? Uh, yeah. No, it was it was called Your Name. I just yeah. remembered it. Um, I enjoyed Your Name. It was good. It's on HBO Max now if you want to watch it I, that So way. I can hold the Blu-ray in my hand while yeah. I watch it on HBO Max. You can Max. Just, like, just like put it on top of your TV. And then, <laughs> and then I can it. just throw the, the Blu-ray across the room. Is that the one that's made? It's the dreamy one with the boy and the girl. Like, yeah. I I it was it, apparently it, like the number one movie in Japan of all time or something. Whoa. Someone it's, explained it to me, and this I'm going to say is an explanation I didn't like. Someone okay. explained it to me like, it's like Charlie Kaufman made like a rom-com um, or it's like Kaufman-esque. And I was like, something Kaufman-esque would have been much bleaker and darker and a little more messed up. <laughs> but it was still right. cool. Yeah, it doesn't have to be, you don't have to um, resemble Charlie Kaufman to, uh, you know, make a surreal fiction. Yeah, uh, exactly. It's a surreal fiction. That's the perfect description. So I saw, I saw a movie that I think came out last year or the year before that I think is made by the same people as your name. Oh, okay. But I didn't see your name. I just saw this other one. Can I guess the name of it? Yes. Is it called Weathering With You? That's right. That's oh, right. Oh, oh, oh. That's right. I loved it. It was really nice. Yeah. I actually liked it better than your name. But apparently a lot of people are like, it's... Because it, I, I saw it before your name as well. Mm. And it, it came out 
after it was like the follow up to like the big hit movie. So a lot of people were like, not as good, but uh, the Pinkerton. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And in 20 years, everyone's going to say that it's better. Sure, yeah. <laughs> and they're going to be I like, we saw it. I think I saw it with Nick Nanny, but in the theater. Oh, wow. Came to. Oh, which theater? Metrograph. But in uh, the theater, we ran into Manolo. Manolo was seeing it at the same time. So that's, that's pretty sick. You that's know, pretty great. When you and your friends, like, you know, like to see the same movies. It's kind I of remember nice. running into people. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> that was great. That was, I kind of had an experience like that just now when all my friends came up in the, <laughs> in the cameo thing. I was just like, oh, cool, my friend oh, just running into them in this Zoom unexpectedly. Yeah, so, my, I mean, my birthday is next month, so. <gasps> Should we all meet up again? Yeah. <laughs> I'm also turning the big one oh oh. Me and Nate are basically the same age. Yeah. We're hundo heads. <laughs> what day is your B day? Uh March nineteen. Oh. That's huge. Three one nine. I mean look at we're all just like one after another. Birthday, yeah. birthday, birthday. Birthday, birthday, Thanks birthday. So let me get this straight. We got a cap and a quare. And a pice. Oh yeah, big Ooh, pice over okay. here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm an Aquarius, but but like you even needed to know my birthday to guess that. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Just really quick, everybody. Okay. This is Poseidon. Whoa. Hey, Poseidon. Buddy, look at the camera. Come on. Poseidon over here. Hi. He's a he's big and he wants to be fed. Feed him. This just in. Mariah is asking a question. Mariah, are we supposed oh. to be drawing nature? Well, Mariah, you know, I like to come up with themes that are kind of abstract. So a word that a lot of people could interpret it as different things. So today the theme is rosebud. So I'm painting a rose. But you could paint a picture of your sister, Rose. Or you could, because bud is in the word rosebud, you could paint a bud of yours, a buddy of yours, or anything that that word makes you think of. How old is Poseidon? Oh, he is about four years old. Oh my goodness. He's a, he's a big boy. He didn't get to show off his... um. His tooth. Oh. <laughs> Can you show off your tooth beside him? Mm. Meow? Meow? <laughs> I saw it. I saw it. Oh my god. He only has one tooth. Even though he's wow. a young he's a spry young man. He had a um I don't know, immune issue and his teeth just started falling out one day. That's very common. That happened to Steve D. Sienna's cat. Mm hmm And the the vet Mm -hmm. ripping apart my desk the vet left in the one tooth because she was like if we take it out his jawbone is too fragile so we oh want to keep God. the one tooth in there to protect his jaw and then now it just makes him look cool as hell that's very cool guys I, can i do something incredibly rude right now oh my god please, please. i'm just i'm just getting like a bunch of like emergency work things i need to check on something so I just oh need boy, to like I, I just need to like means. mute myself for just like a minute and then I'll be back. Mm -hmm. I'm embarrassed. Mm -hmm. I feel like a square, but no, no worries at all. We got, we got it. <laughs> all right. Mm -mm. Um, mm -hmm. Don't talk about anything too cool. <laughs> okay. Without me. Okay. Well, speaking of cool business calls, a cool call you could make is supporting our channel. That's right. We have a bunch of great shows and you know it's really cool because you know it's a bunch of comedians and people and you know it's great because you get to make a show that you want without you know any notes any notes from the network saying oh make it sexier or whatever um 
you just get to do what you want. And so, you know, it's very cool, very punk rock, one might say. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a labor of love, everyone that does shows for this channel and runs, you know, keeps the things running. Um, for, you know, for instance, Heck is, pre Hex is pressing a bunch of buttons to make this show work. You maybe didn't know that, but he's been pressing buttons this whole time. So, if you wanted to support us, you totally could. It's like, pay what you will, pay what you can. If you don't want to pay, that's totally fine. Just, like, tell a friend about our channel. Um, so, yeah, support the show at planetscum.live. Yep, there's a button where you could, you know, go to our PayPal thing and uh, put in a dollar. Or if you want to give more than one dollar, oh my goodness, for two dollars and sixty-nine cents, you get a shout out at the bottom of the screen, and it looks like this. I want to give a shout out to my main man, Frankie. Ethan, today you are a man. Mazel tov. Love, Bubby. Tina, will you marry me? From Ernesto, etc. Or five dollars. The same thing, but you send in a video shout out and we play it. You know what? No one, no one has taken that up, but I think, <laughs> I think it's a, I think it's a good one. Like I would want to do that to a friend who watches the show. Eight dollars handmade postcard. Yep, that's right. I make a postcard and I send it to your home for ten bucks. Stickers. What do they look like? Damn, ten dollars. No way. Or for twenty bucks. You get this picture of me and Happy, and we write like a little note on it about, you know, how we like you and you should believe in yourself. Or, you know, the, for $1,500, we could watch The Irishman, or for $15,000, we could watch The Irishman 10 times. Anyways, so yeah. So yeah, we would really love it if you supported the show and the channel and everyone that um, keeps the thing running. It's, it's such a fun thing. So Jess, how I... much money can we put you down for? Oh, which, um, gosh, I was really con trying to concentrate on my portrait. Uh, <laughs> but I could do a- oh, look a... at this. Yeah, it's, I, it's, I'm out of practice. Um, and I didn't realize, I forgot that doing portraits is really hard, but I think it'll come together over time. Uh, but I, I think a video shout out would be really fun. Right. Nate basically just got like five free video shout outs. I know. Freaking owes us. <laughs> um, guess who's back? Thank goodness. It's me. Yay! Um, did I miss anything good? I mean, obviously, yes. but what yes. specifically? Yeah, Mary went over all of the cool stuff you can get if you send in money to Planet Scum. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's cool. If you pay $1,500, you could watch The Irishman with me. Oh, awesome. Yeah. That sounds fun. I haven't seen that yet, so, like, maybe. That's oh, pretty I've seen good. it twice, and I love it. I wow, that's watch. thirty thousand dollars. <laughs> Does anyone want a sneak preview of my rosebud? Yes. Oh, oh my goodness! Look Whoa, at this. he's cool. A bud, who's a rose? He's a bud, who's a rose? Oh my god! He looks like. Is he got a cool? Oh no, that's his body. I thought he was wearing a cool necklace, but that's his. Yeah, he's. Oh it's, my god! It's his stem. Thorns and all. He yeah. Needs to make some leaves, I think. What's that? Maybe some leaves somewhere. Oh yeah, I'll get some leaves oh, for yeah. sure. Let's do that. <laughs> Have you guys ever heard of rosebud thorn? No. Mm -hmm. What is that? Well, it's a prompt to, I guess, to get oh! children to talk about their feelings. <laughs> I do, I know it because of you. That's right. That's Rose, right. And, Rose and Thorn. You know, I heard of it because Sam Taggart told me that, you know, some sort of like nice adult woman 
did it when he was a kid like not a teacher but like a friend's mom or something like, that's really hey, kids, sweet. rosebud thorn and um so you're supposed to give rose rose is something that's good in your life right now like a rose you know they're good or a bud a thing that you're looking forward to you know a thing that might blossom into a rose later and thorn something you know something that's not so great going on for you right now so so you want us to do that right now yeah yes jess you go first okay something that's good right now is this i think that's pretty obvious being on the show is lots of fun i'm really happy to have been asked um uh and another friend just asked me to be on their podcast too and i haven't i haven't done that in like a super long time so that's like exciting Mm -hmm. and a thorn you know what poseidon he's a really handsome cool cat but he keeps waking me up at like 4 30 in the morning like fight because he wants food Mm -hmm. and uh it's the kind of situation where you're just like i wish i could talk to you and have a conversation in which we discuss Mm -hmm. the parameters of this relationship um because it made me sleep through my alarm because i disrupted the middle of my sleeping Mm. wow yeah I, I found myself wishing that there were a bunch of ants in my bathroom, and you know I had to I had to bring out some poison and just destroy their whole colony. And it's just like if I could talk to you guys, I'd be fine with like giving you a cup of water once a week and just like, <laughs> and have it. But like they keep having to like invade my home for it, and it's like mm-hmm. I can spare enough. I'm happy to happy to give you what you need. Just think if we put out like w- just a cup of water on the porch. They'd like chill out. Well, I think it's time to try. <laughs> Just leave a little trail of water going outside to a big cup. Have you tried leaving them a note? Mm-hmm. Have. And they just wrote swears on it. <laughs> <gasps> Rude. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. It's the thing. I'm just hard to talk to. Nate, can we get a rosebud thorn? Okay, so are rosebud two different things, or is rosebud one thing? Yes, rose is a thing that's good right now. Bud is a a thing you're looking forward to. Okay, rose, and that's good right now. I mean, obviously, one my my B day. Um, lots of nice things happening. You know, messages from friends, getting to see people, getting nice presents this morning from Kala. Uh, just you know good good day overall Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh bud is that i have a i have a sketch on the show tonight (gasps) which you know will be all over youtube tomorrow of course and i'm very happy with it um and it's very stupid and i'm i'm just excited that it even got on the show uh and so that'll so I'll, I'm, I'll be excited to share that. Keep nice. keep an eye on my Twitter. Oh, for those who don't know, you should say which show because I think Zach. Oh yeah, <laughs> uh, uh, it's the late fun. late the late late show with James Corden on CBS. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll have to look that up. You have to look it up. We do this thing called Carpool Karaoke. You're gonna love it. <laughs> and. Um, Thorn, my eyelid has been twitching. Oh no! Oh, yeah, no. that's no fun. <sighs> that's a toughie. Do you, do you take caffeine or any stimulants? None, none whatsoever. I mean, that's what I thought. That's this what is, I thought. This is all. This is my so sixth, the- sixth class so far, by the way, since this started. Oh wow! <laughs> wow. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I get twitchy in the eyes if, honestly, more so than caffeine, if I have too much sugar. Interesting. I eat, if I eat a bunch of candy sometimes, yeah. I get a twitchy eye. I eat, a, I guess, a regular amount of sugar. 
But then there've been days where I haven't had much sugar and I I've been getting the twitchy eyes still. I think it's like lack of sleep kind of deal. I when I get the twitchy eye, it's purely anxiety, depression. Could also <laughs> could also be that. Uh, that also like might be in my life. Uh. Yep. <laughs> Very nice. That well, that that might be the the root cause. Not not Maybe saying I yeah. can't wait to see your sketch. You're such a funny writer. And I have to say, one of my favorite things makes me laugh whenever I think about it is your sketch. And you can find this on YouTube. Now, what is it called? It's the it's the Price is Right game with the... Oh, cliff, Cliffhangers. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, that was... I think that might be my favorite thing I've done on the show. That, so that particular one. Um, yeah. The only thing that might rival it is the thing tonight. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. This is monumental. It's it's pretty huge. Oh my god, I can't wait. Okay. Let's see. Rosebud Thorn. Rosebud Thorn. Well, I guess a rose for me, you know, is hanging out with my friends, you know, the two of you, and then also all the people who, you know, comments fun stuff um okay let's see you know uh nick nick saint Ange, you know says that he likes the mike kroll dead stream and he likes nate's performance on it yep. oh wow thanks thanks so much that was that was really fun to do i was glad mike mike invited me to participate and uh that's that's great glad you watched it mike's the best Doofus Klon says, I like drawing. This is relaxing. Couldn't agree more. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Um, Tig Naruto. Anime name much? Says and my, comedy name. Right? My eyelid twitches all the time. Holly Guti says, can be a deficiency. Like calcium, mm -hmm. perhaps. Interesting. So, I like hanging out with all you guys because you guys are always teaching me interesting things about, you know, calcium and that kind of stuff. <laughs> um, but uh, truly, this is such a nice... Um, name name some deficiencies for Mayor in the chat. We need to know more than just calcium. <laughs> and um, let's see, a bud, a bud, a thing that I'm looking forward to. Let's well, well, I guess I'm gonna like it when it's safe to travel places because, you know, I'm looking at the two of you and I'm thinking about how, you know, that thing where sometimes if you live in New York, you visit your friends in LA or vice versa and you're like, oh, it's so nice to see my friends. I haven't seen them in so long. I think that's such a nice feeling. So I'm looking mm -hmm. forward to feeling that again. Just Me visiting too. Friends. Yeah, visiting pals in New York is very fun. B12 and potassium, other common deficiencies. Interesting. I have a, um, I'm vegan, so I'm at risk for B12 deficiency. The last time I went to the doctor and had my blood test done for my annual, which you should all be making safe efforts to still see your doctor for your annual appointments, mm -hmm. et cetera. Mm -hmm. Just a big um important issue in my opinion i think taking yeah, care of your health is like I do the, early blood test. the early blood test is also a nice just a nice way to make you chill so you can be like i had, you know i had a blood test within the year yeah like what else I could agree. possibly but i have a I, my b12 level was too high <gasps> are you kidding me and they were like stop whatever supplement you're taking and restart with a lower dose and i'm like well here's the thing i'm like vegan so i don't eat cheese and so i put nutritional yeast on everything and that stuff's just like pure b12 and protein uh so i'm not i'm not going to change anything <laughs> i have severely cut back on meat in like the last while so, nice so maybe Is it you, yeah, did you always cook less meat at home? Is it because you're like not eating out as much perhaps? It is. I mean, yeah, like, yeah, I mean, that's, that's a huge part of it. 
and also like I, I try to you know there's also more options you know like the beyond burgers and stuff have, oh, you, heard yeah. you, have you heard about these beyond burgers oh, all yeah, i eat yeah, yeah. <laughs> and let's see my thorn you know it feels like a cop out to you know for two of my answers to be like covid sucks and i can't wait for covid to be over you know, that's like not very unique to me, but hey, hey. just as valid though. Your rosebud thorn it. doesn't have to be unique, you know? My thorn is, you know, I really would like this thing to be over and for my loved ones to be immune. Um, but yeah, I would like to, I would like to, because sometimes, sometimes I'll hang out with people around my own age, you know, safely in a backyard or a park with masks on. I, you know, we feel fine doing that. I would like to more freely hang out with very old people and tiny babies, which I feel like I really haven't been able to do this past year. Mm -hmm. So that's sort of a thorn in my side. Not enough old people, young people time. This yeah. just in Rose is drawing a tree. Right Rose on, can draw right. anything. Anything Rose draws is on topic because she's drawing it. That's true. Can anyone tell what my is my portrait still going? I can't tell. Oh, my phone's being been weird, but <sighs> let's see. Okay, I'm adding it to the stream and it seems to be Oh, it's the wrong side of the camera. Okay, got it. Here we go. That's probably why it wasn't being added. My phone, I don't know. It just keeps popping out of the, the thing. It was tough out there. I'm I am a tech savvy person. This is this is a purely a, a software issue. Definitely. <laughs> um, All right, first. First thing you're gonna do when you get the vaccine. Oh my god. I very badly want to like hold and play with my baby nieces. They're babies. They just turned one year. They're twins. I have I have one that was just born like a couple months yeah. ago. So I haven't even met. So I've hung out with these babies like in their backyard, but Never up close touching. You gotta them. touch those cheeks. I know. Their little cheeks and their little, their chubby legs and everything. So their mom is very careful and, you know, she's sort of, the way she's feeling currently is like, well, we've waited this long. Let's just wait until we're super sure that it's safe. I keep saying it's like the last like 15 seconds of a plank, you know? You're yeah, like, this yeah, hurts, exactly. but I can do it. I'm strong enough. We're going to make it. So I fear that even if I get vaccinated, maybe I still won't be able to hold their teeth. Yeah, because mm -hmm. cause there's no proof that the vaccine will, you, you can still transmit. Yeah. You protect yourself mostly. You definitely help reduce transmission. But yeah, I guess there's still be a risk that you could you could be carrying some germs and give them to a baby. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Dang. So, I, I want to hold these babies so bad. And I, if I can speak for the babies, they want you to hold them. Mm hmm I feel good. <laughs> the first thing I'm going to do... Gosh, that's tough. I have dreams that I visit New York City. Mm. It's like really sad when I wake up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would be fun if you visited it. And normally when I, you know, whichever coast I happen to be living on, I bounce back and forth over the years. I will visit the other city like three times a year or something. So I'm like, Hurting yeah. over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about you, Nate? Uh, I would. I would like to see my family. I haven't seen them since this whole thing. Oh started. yeah. So, mm -hmm. I will. If my parents can get a vaccine, like in the next month, I might 
drive to see them in March. I have like a week off of work. So I might um, I might drive to Massachusetts. Wow. That's pretty intense. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I've seen this in New York, but have not heard of anything like this in LA of just like, sometimes it's just like, I was walking down the street and someone had a vaccine. Yeah. Um, one of my coworkers' friends who lives in Philly was just like in a Walgreens and then they came on the speakers and were like, hey, we have an extra vaccine if anyone in the store wants it. And then she got it that way. That's like a, so my cool. dream. I'm going to go to Walgreens. Just hang just out there all day. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Status update. Um, a new, new little rosebud popping up. Oh, oh, nice. Look at you. I love. Yeah. Okay, the rosebuds are cool. You know, both of my parents, because they're 65 years old, they had made appointments to get the vaccine. And both of them said, you know, like, oh, great, now I have to cancel my appointment. Or, oh, the doctor says, now I can't get it for 90 days. Oh, great. And I'm like, you guys got COVID. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. I know, like a lot of people are careful and still get it, but like, you guys could have gone out less. Yeah, that must be frustrating. Yeah, I've been doing yeah, like big time <laughs> nothing. Yeah, I've done absolutely yeah. nothing. I haven't left my house at all in a month if i get it i'm gonna be so embarrassed because it's gonna be like i've well since the numbers got so bad in la i've been like emotionally preparing for getting it and how like disappointed in myself i would be if i got yeah. it not even Especially just like after the time that's gone by i know i would, yeah. I would just be so oof it would be so oof i was like i'm planking i'm emotionally planking Yes. You would feel the same way if I fell over in the middle of my plank. I'd feel pissed. Okay, I think my phone died, so can we tell who my portrait is yet? Is that Rose from the the um Golden Girls? Yeah, it's Betty Wyatt's Rose from the Golden Girls. That's great. It's looks, it's not bad. She, she looks a little looks too like young it. right now. Her eyes are a little cartoony big. Jess, oh, I didn't. I, I didn't know you, that you had. I didn't know you had such art skills. Oh yeah, I was big. I was art girl. I was president of the Art Honor Society, and um, I was the um, what's it called? I was on like stage crew and set design. All right, now you're now you're just bragging. Yeah, I was in a lot of clubs, and I almost. I really want to go to art school, and I should have, even though. I'm sure lots of people went to art school. We're like, no, no, no. But it's like, if I went, I went to college and I kind of wish that with that experience, I did an art school thing instead of the weird college thing that I did wind up doing. But you did like a smart college thing, which I think is more interesting. <laughs> like I could Can't get it if you, if you majored oh in like um, sociology at some like you know at your safety school i could get being like oh why didn't i major in something cool but then you did uh your major was super smart stuff is that right you majored in super smart stuff at columbia is it is that yes right? i was a chemical yeah. engineering major at columbia like, for that's two years way more oh, wow. interesting than like but that's the thing is that i hated it <laughs> Is that I did it because of like I didn't know any better. I was the first person in my family to go to college, and so it was like I got into my dream school program was I wanted to go to School Museum of Fine Arts in Boston and Tufts University dual degree program to get a degree in straight chemistry and uh, an uh, BFA, and I got into that program. But then I also got into Columbia for chemical engineering. So it's like everyone was obviously like you have to go to the ivy league school you'll be set for life blah, blah, blah. 
But if I knew, like, any adult... And look at you like... now. You're a big-time scientist. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if I knew any adult who's anything like me or, like, had any of the same se sensibilities as me, if I were me now telling 17-year-old me, I would have been like, do the thing you really, really wanted to do. Don't yeah. give in to this, like, the prestige and the title and the status stuff. Mm -hmm. Um... Because I got there and then I was miserable. <laughs> so. Did you finish um, the program there? No, I trans. Eventually, I transferred my junior year. I tried to transfer my sophomore year to just go get into the liberal arts school in Columbia and like couldn't get in. <laughs> so my junior year, I transferred to Wesleyan in Connecticut and studied um, was a philosophy major. Because I was like, I really want to do liberal arts, but I wish I had been an art major. Literally, like that summer, I like petitioned to the dean to be like, I can I switch my major to art uh, and do a fifth year? And he was like, No. I was like, Okay, well, I'll just continue. What a rude dude. Well, they just—he was just like, We don't do fifth years at Wesleyan. I'm like, Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It was all fine. What's the theme this week? The theme is Rosebud. That's right. Like Citizen Kane. Because, you know, Rosebud is the sled and it snowed a ton. So, you know, I had sleds on my mind. Um, and But also, like, you know, you could paint a rose. So that's what I did. I painted a rose. Nate, you know, painted um, a buddy who happens to be a rose. Okay, and just painted um, Rose from the Golden Girls. So okay, you know, thank you for being a bud. Thank you for being a bud. So anything that the the phrase Rosebud inspires for you? Um, I wanted to go to college for graphic design. Mm -hmm. I was getting really into it. It was like my senior year in high school. I was really getting into graphic design. Mm -hmm. Like that was like when Photoshop was kind of just like starting to kind of become oh, an accessible thing to people. And I mm -hmm. took like a computer art class and and I told my computer art teacher that's what I wanted to do. And he was like, bring in some stuff that you made and show me. So, you know, you know, brought in some stuff to show on like, you know, one of my anime fan art websites and um, just some other little little bits and bobs I made in Photoshop. Uh, or rather GIMP, the free Photoshop option oh, I was that. using. Mm -hmm. and, he, and he looked through my stuff and said, Nah, these aren't good enough. You should do something else. <laughs> oh, this Christmas. That's so yeah. stupid. <laughs> and adults are dumb. I know, That's but it, I also would be like, like in retrospect, he should have been like, hey, you just started doing this. I don't know if your stuff is quite there. I'm going to work with you and try to get you there. But instead, he was just like, nah. Nah. <laughs> Well, do you think, yeah. I think, a thing I think about all the time as I'm turning the big one oh oh is how young my parents and all my teachers it's were. crazy yeah. when I think yeah. about that. Like, okay, the, for me, <laughs> the most disturbing thing about being in my 30s is when a pilot is younger than you. <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> there is a, there's Why a, did I let this guy fly the plane? He's just a little boy. <laughs> None of us are safe. Like, I shouldn't be allowed to fly a plane. Mm -hmm. But let me in there to just, like, help him out a little bit. Yeah. Maybe if we put our brains together, we can get this thing off the ground. <laughs> yeah, my parents were really young. My parents were, like, 21 when they had me. So, like, thinking about, like, all the sage advice I got from my parents, I was like, I wouldn't let this person... Yeah. That being said, I have lots of, of very intelligent and impressive young friends right now. Ooh. Oh, cool. Look at this. Fan art live and direct from Euphoria awesome. Jones. I, I'm afraid of paints. I need to try paints more, but I'm like afraid of them. I haven't done uh, it in a while. The dog. Whoa, oh my great God, dog. Grover made it. Whoa. I love now you, it's Grover. even better. Woof, woof. <laughs> woof, woof, woof. Very cute. 
That was cool. <gasps> oh, that's so nice. Oh, wow. Great. Oh, oh yes. Noah Sampson of Ridgewood, Queens. Oh, Ridgewood, I miss you. Who is this? Is Rose and Mariah? Yay! Awesome. Hey. Nice job, Rose and Mariah. Ooh, look at this. Very cool. I'd say that was for sure worth cleaning up our language. <laughs> <laughs> It was freaking worth it. Well, you know, I... Okay, things things are getting weird over here. Uh-oh. Um, what? Ah! What? <laughs> things are getting weird. It's their pet <laughs> penguin flower. I don't know what is going on. I like it. <laughs> I'm adding some chiaroscuro elements to my mostly line drawing. <laughs> Well, you know, it would be a shame to go the whole show without going to the Gamer's Den. What's the Gamer's Den? The Gamer's Den! Look at this. Wow. That scared the crud out of me. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a little snake. <laughs> oh, okay. If you guys have any tips, you know, for how to steer the snake, let me know. Whoa. So are you eating these little orbs of light and energy? Uh, yeah. And are you There's trying to reason. avoid are you trying to avoid the big boys? <laughs> <laughs> this is very COVID related. This is what it's like when another person <laughs> talks you in your life now. No your whole body tenses up. <laughs> all right. Dang. Oh, I'm, I'm getting longer and stronger, it seems, from eating up all these things. Whoa. Very cool. Okay. All right. This is nice. I could get used to this. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Mar okay. Mary, am, I allowed to, am I allowed to plug stuff? Yes, please. So if you're like a gamer who's in the gamer stems right now, maybe you're also a hacker mm. and you like hacking. Because mm -hmm. I, so I'm a part of a, a radical editing collective called Racer Trash, and we um, reconfigure and reimagine future films into um, sort of exquisite corpse style. And we just had our premiere screening of our new version of Hackers uh, this oh. past Sunday night. That's cool. Is the stuff archived somewhere? So it's not archived. It's a uh, it's only available on Twitch when we stream it in the moment, but we have like, you can follow all our social media and stuff and we are, oh heck, thanks. This is Ish. Um, we will be doing an encore very soon and we're specifically going to be doing a, an, an East Coast friendly encore because our, um, mm. our premiere was accidentally a an hour later than it should have been to be even reasonably acceptable for someone on the east coast to to try and watch it so yeah we're racer trash on instagram and twitter and you can follow our twitch at racer x trash and uh yeah there's a bunch of clips on the instagram and on the website and stuff but it's it's been a really really fun part of my uh year in quarantine <laughs> Goodness, a year. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, not yet, but you know, we're all oh, the Abaduk. The Abaduk is amazing. 
There's also, yeah, now the secret's out. When, before we premiered Hackers, we were keeping it a secret that we also did something called the Abaduk, which is <laughs> the Babaduk, but with ABBA songs. And I, mm -hmm. Nate, oh, cool. how much have you listened to ABBA? So it was actually in quarantine that I did my first, like, sit down and listen to a bunch of ABBA. And, oh boy, it turns out they're very good. They freaking rock. Yeah. I am obsessed with them now. <laughs> Uh, and so, so yeah, I would say keep an eye out for Hackers. Yes, we love Hackers. It's a masterpiece. A Abaduk is changing people's lives. And also, Nate, there's a song, there's a song portion, the Abaduk that I, I did that people are, are ra ranting and raving about. Oh, I can't really? wait. <laughs> but I don't know. I think it's kind of has the opposite vibes of Painting Party. <laughs> um, oh. oh my gosh, the Poseidon just jumped on the counter. Tell that dude to relax. <laughs> okay, Mr. Eye Twitch. <laughs> Hi. Oh, I'm, I'm jealous. I want an animal on my lap. You guys, That's big news. It. Big news. One of the rosebuds is playing a good. He decided oh, to. Oh heck yeah! That's the that, that's the Nate bud. That's the Nate bud. <laughs> so I would just like to remind you folks at home, if you're sharing your art, um, use the hashtag Merry Painting Party, and then we can all see each other's art. Or if you don't have social media, you could email it to us at MaryHoolahanXOXO at uh, at gmail .com. And you know what's so cool about doing that is that I find your images and I save them to my desktop and then I put them in the viewer art gallery. Oh my god. Wow, I can't believe it. Whoa. Okay, all right. Woo! Whoa. Oh, that's Mary and Happy. Whoa. Last That's week so was cool. sci-fi themed. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Pretty sick. That's so cool. yeah, you could submit your work and get on here. There's Sun, Earth, Moon by Rose. Okay, amazing. Can this one I was very interested in. Um, Ooh. Oh, cool. That's neat. that's some hacker stuff right there. That is hacker stuff right there. Oh, that was really <laughs> cool. Aliens. Cannon. Keeper of the forest. Boop, 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 boop. Bunch of eyeballs. Should I switch over and start drawing some rosebuds too? Sure. Some That'd be great. Characters for the rosebud. I would love that. Uh, franchise. <laughs> I would love to expand the world of the rosebuds. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, that's an interesting sci-fi right there. Whoa. Dang. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, dang. Whoa. These are real good. I know. Everyone. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna. Cool. I have my old um Prisma color sticks. <gasps> So I'm gonna do some color Whoa. for the roses. These are that what I would use when I drew caricatures at Six Flags. I got a brand new set of pencils for my birthday today. Ooh. This is their, this is their first Thank time out. You. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Look at this. Oh. Tuxedo Mask. Anime Mass. boy and Rosebud theme together. Tuxedo That's Mask. That's huge. Ooh, so handsome. Um, <laughs> do you guys want to hear something that I just want to apologize in advance because I'm going to tell you about something you're going to want that everyone's going to want to see, but I'm probably not going to share it. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, wow. but I, yeah. I recently found that my anime fan art website on Angel Fire, it's still up. <laughs> the what my from when I was like 15 or something. <laughs> I love the internet. That's it's, awesome. It's oh. still up. 
So did you have like a cool handle or something or? No, Nate's <laughs> art. <laughs> that was okay. Well, guys, get Googling. Nate's art, Angel Fire. I don't think it will come up. How many Nate's art Angel Fires are there going to be? Dozens. <laughs> uh, but the one thing that was funny going back, um, there was like some website. Like, you know, you, remember back in the day you could like win awards from websites? <laughs> um, like, I won an award from a website and it was it was like an art website. For like cool website design or something mm -hmm. and then looking at it recently i was like oh that was an adult's art website <laughs> that <laughs> that um of um of uh, very attractive cartoon animals oh. and i remember like showing my parents when i won the award and i was like look at this look at this uh -oh. And uh, and then and they were they didn't seem psyched about the award I won, and uh, now I see why because the award <laughs> was a picture of a very attractive tiger. Ooh. You know, I could have tried to be supportive. Happy. Hi. Hi, Hi Happy. I gotta say, pets are cool. Mm-hmm. Except when they wake you up at four in the morning and you sleep through your alarm. But otherwise, yeah. Ooh, look at that rose head. That's cool. Reminds me of Pikmin. Oh, baby. Speaking Bring of it. oh baby, <laughs> oh baby, we would love it if you supported Plant Scum. Yep, that's right. It's a bunch of nice people who lend their time to keep this thing running, and you know, I think it's a nice thing. So go to plantscum.live and you know, press press the button. A little, eh, I think it says support the shows or something like that, and uh, you know, give us a dollar or more dollars if you want. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Tagline alert. Planet scum. It's a nice thing. <laughs> Very nice. Hi. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe this is a nice time to wind down the show. I mean, <laughs> you would know best. I don't know if I, me or Nate can make that kind of call. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, no, yeah. I mean, what, what's the average TRT on these things normally? Total runtime. Oh. You know, I, I, I figured RT was runtime, and I was like, what's my first T? Um, you know, it varies. It varies. Uh, but usually between one and two hours. Okay. I would have been sad if you were like, they're normally five or six hours. But then if you're like... <laughs> you're giving me nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no way. This was a really nice app. Um, I'm really enjoying this. I'm, I'm, I'm probably just... I'm probably going to become a viewer after this. Oh. And just come and draw stuff. Well, we would love that. Be sure yeah. to use the hashtag, Nate, so that you can get on our viewer art gallery. Absolutely. Um, can I show you guys my my rosebud that I made? Mm -hmm. Nate, yeah. you can let me know as artistic director of the rosebuds if this guy has what it takes. Oh, boy. I'm, I'm trying to finish him real quick. Uh, yeah, he's in. Wow. <laughs> Very He's in the cool. game. Yeah, I thought it, he would be cool enough. Yeah, oh, no, no, that's those are some cool shades. I mean, shades alone will get you. You got you got shades or a guitar. You're in the rosebuds. <laughs> I didn't have time to give him a guitar. He, yeah, this could be the drummer. Is, oh yeah, yeah. This is here's here's the latest Ooh, update on. Oh, the guitar yes. rosebuds. 
That's such a quiet brooding wow. rose. Yeah. This guy reach. definitely Look at all the the frets it can go between. Yeah, that's you know that was a little thing. I'm glad you noticed that, Mary. That was something that was cool. I was like, if a plant with like, you know, weeds mm -hmm. for arms could play a guitar, but it could do all sorts of cool stuff and like, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mary, I don't think you answered. What did you play in your band? Bass guitar. Whoa! I had no idea. That's so cool. It's true. Ben Marino played the drums. Eric Menahan played guitar. And Mr. DePito played guitar and sang. That's great. Well, hey, if you're ever in L.A., me and Jess do not have a bassist at the moment. <laughs> we both have our own bass guitars. Yeah, yeah, right now the band is just two people who play guitar. Yeah. Great. I can't wait to join. <laughs> I brought a bass once. You did? I did. And I don't think I was comfortable enough with the bass yet. Or I don't know. We were like, but we want to play the guitar parts in this. What? Oh, and then we had our first... Um, our first two cover songs we learned just for fun. Oh, yeah. Super Drag. Super Drag. And, and Super Chunk. Yeah, our super band. We have to learn super a super, super grass song, honestly. Yeah, we do. We do. Any other bands that start with super that you want us to learn a song, we'll do it. Super Tramp. We'll do it. Super, super Tramp. Tramp. We'll do oh, it. Great hair. Once again, uh -huh. well, thanks. You know. Can I can I let cut and cover in on a secret? Mm -hmm. I've been cutting my own hair in quarantine. Ah! This is the third time I've done it, and I feel like I this was the first time I felt okay about it. The last few I was like, eh, I don't know, but this Looks one good. I was like, I'm fine with this. A official cut and cover seal of approval. Thank you. I cut my hair today. Oh, nice work. Thank you. Do, Thank do you, you always cut your own hair or only in quarantine? Um, sometimes I get haircuts when it's not quarantine. Okay. I used to cut my own hair in college. And when I had bangs, I would trim my own bangs. Like that's oh, like- Oh, you gotta, you got Cause they grow so fast. They grow really fast. Never had them. <laughs> if you did I this like right now, you would have them. Come on, put him down. <laughs> <laughs> there they are. Yes. Nice bangs. Oh my God. It, you look amazing. <laughs> it works. Okay, wait, I can lock up having um, a bobby pin from over here. I actually have been thinking about committing to the full mullet. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. I like that look. And so I have I know that I can do that. <laughs> if I just do, it's hard with it being backwards. But maybe, maybe you guys can, I need a real mirror. I, I like the, um, the Jane Fonda mullet, like the 70s girly mullet. Might try that sometime. I think now's the time. It's okay. the time to have fun with it. If you're gonna have fun with it, it is the um, time. Can't get to work, Mayor. I can text you a picture later. I, I'm, I think I'm gonna do it. Maybe I'll do something wild with my hair. Oh, I can show you something funny. Mm -hmm. um, if if I can get a picture on my phone to show up on the computer, let's see. Um. <laughs> I'm laughing already. Okay. There it is. <laughs> okay. All right. It is worth it. And it looks great. Yeah, it wasn't as horrifying as I thought it was gonna be. It was that was a, a bald cap. It wasn't a um wasn't a shave. It looks it's not good. like a fake cap. But yeah, this was it was it was part of that. That was the <laughs> full result. Wow. Nice. Let me think. Let me think. How will I end the show? Big finish. You know. You know. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't know. I guess. I guess we'll end with a Q and A. I don't know. Does anyone have any questions? You're. D 
you're up close with three, four, if you count happy, of the greatest artists of all time. And we could give you the answers to all the questions of how to make art, how to cut your hair. Was that look for personal use or for work? Uh, work, technically, but both. I texted the picture to my mom and I didn't tell her that it was like a thing for work. And she responded, um, oh God, your beautiful hair. <laughs> and she was very upset. She has a very thick Boston accent and wow. she was really upset about it. That's Mariah, really sweet. what's your question? We're dying to hear it. Right? That's a really good tip. If you're scared to cut your hair, you could always start with your fingernails. It's technically all the same kind of stuff. I don't do my own fingernails. I cut my own hair, but I go to a place to get my fingernails done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't trust myself with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true of some humans. Because <laughs> they have a whole, you know, thing. I guess so, yeah. Is everyone excited to get their tax documents? Love Do not get me from you, started. You know, I got one in the mail the other day, and I was like, "Really? We're doing gotta... this again?" <laughs> <laughs> I just had to do a, a tax projection, which is basically doing your taxes. But then, mm -hmm. when it's tax time, you have to basically do it all again, mm. and it's man, oof, no fun. Yeah, I got all my tax stuff. I'm, 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 I love doing my taxes. Oh, I don't like okay. It. Mariah follows Ooh. up with, it's actually not a question. She just wanted to say, Pika, Pika. she's drawing Pikachu and she just posted it. Hex, do you think we could, we could get a look-see at that Pikachu? No, sick of it? Well, I have to tell you, it's kind of nice to look at, but it was snowing for so many hours in a row that after a while I was like, are you kidding me? Could you stop already? This is probably the biggest snow we've had in years. I it definitely is. Tell, it definitely is. And I'm a little jealous just because, so, you know, for that one moment when it's still enjoyable. Yeah, I, 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 I could have both lived in Los Angeles. And could have used we, maybe 66 percent of that snow we didn't need the full 100. i'd love a little bit of snow okay Pika. oh heck yeah. very nice i love pikachu thumbs up good job mariah pika 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 <laughs> <laughs> Kevin says, nice job, Mariah. AJ says, that's rad. Joe Shiaba says, I owe a lot of taxes. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and he also says, awesome, Mariah. <laughs> Alex brings up a really good point that Pikachu is hitting <laughs> us with a dab. <laughs> <laughs> Which is very cool. Yay! Well, I think that was an amazing question and answer portion. And Mariah, that was amazing art. Everyone else, that was amazing art. And, well... I don't know, I had fun. I had I great fun. I guess um, I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Nate and Jess, will you join me in waving into camera until Hex turns the feed off? Absolutely. Absolutely. Bye, everybody. And happy birthday, Nate. Thank you. Happy birthday, Nate. Thank you.